Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Toriel Sultan. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up Binance Smart Chain Network on your MetaMask wallet. As many of you already know, Ethereum gas fee is pretty high at the moment. That's why it's pushing a lot of projects to move on to Binance Smart Chain for faster and cheaper transaction costs. So house rules, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. I'm going to be posting more and more this type of related content. Also drop some comments below and give it a like on this video so YouTube algorithm can show it to more and more people who really seek for help in terms of setting up MetaMask Binance Smart Chain. Without further ado guys, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is come to metamask.io. For those who don't know what MetaMask is, MetaMask is an Ethereum hot wallet. It's built on ERC20 network. Basically, how you install it is you're going to install it to your website browser. So it will show up as website browser extension. So just click on download now. And these are the four supported browsers. So in my daily lives, I use the first three browsers quite often for different purpose. However, if you want to use multiple wallets, then you can install MetaMask on each one of these browsers. So you can use more than one wallet at the time. So in this case, I'm using Google Chrome. Just come on here, click on install MetaMask for Chrome. It'll direct you to Chrome Web Store and just click on add to Chrome and it will show this pop up. You want to confirm and add extension and it will show you this little pop up. First thing you want to do is click on this little icon on the top right corner, click on it and you want to pin MetaMask. So MetaMask can always show on your browser like this. So first time using this wallet, it will direct you to welcome to MetaMask page. Click on get started. You have two options. Option number one is if you already have a secret recover phrase, then you can simply import the wallet this way. We're going to talk about secret phrase just in a bit. If this is your first time using this wallet, simply go on the second option, create a new wallet and it will prompt you to this page. Basically, you can either click on I agree to help MetaMask to improve the their service or their product, or you can click on no thanks. In my case, I'm going to go click on no thanks. And now this page is about setting up a new password. This password is for every time when you quit your browser or close your browser or even restart your computer. If you click on MetaMask, this is the password that's going to be required to log in to your MetaMask. So this way, not everybody is able to use your MetaMask just in case you left your desk or anything like that. So you just need to set up a secured password password minimum eight characters and when you're done with that confirm the password and click on I have read the agreement and terms and conditions click on create so this is a new video that MetaMask inserted basically it's going to show you a little bit about how to secure a wallet just click on next and now this is one of the most important part of the entire video so I want to take a little pause to give you some tips on how to secure your phrase because this is one of the most important part of this entire tutorial because if you lost this phrase or if you give it to somebody, someone else will be able to log into your MetaMask remotely and extract all your tokens and all your cryptocurrency assets. This is how scammers are able to target you and basically they build some sort of a fancy support site. They want you to import the secret phrase into their website. Never ever do that, okay? Because this secret phrase is meant to be very secure. So there's a few methods I recommend you to store it. Method number one is you can write it down on a piece of paper, right? Or you can print it out. However, just keep that in mind. When you print it out, it's not fireproof. Just in case there's fire or natural disaster, you definitely don't want to rely on paper itself. So that comes to my second option. What I recommend you is to have around two USB sticks. There's a way you can reformat these USB sticks and encrypt these USB sticks. Meaning every time when you plug into your computer, you need to enter a password in order to have access to the file inside of this stick. So what you can do is you can simply screenshot this or you can download a secret phrase to a TXT file. You can see on the bottom left, store it in your thumb drive. However, keep that in mind. One thumb drive is not good enough. You need to have around two thumb drives and store them in different locations. Just in case something happened to one location, you can always go to the second location to have access to this phrase, okay? I 
don't recommend you guys to keep this on the cloud just in case one day your computer or your account got hacked then the hacker will be able to have access to your backup phrase so don't store it on the cloud in this case just click on reveal secret words this is just for a demonstration purpose because i'm not going to use this wallet so this is just for purely demonstration purpose in my case i'm going to do a quick screenshot like this also i downloaded a txt file you can download it by clicking on this little hyperlink here and now once you're done with that click on next now we just need to confirm your secret recovery phrase by tapping this word one by one in the correct order so in this case on the right hand side this is my screenshot on the left i'm going to tap these words one by one so once you're done with this, click on confirm and congratulations, your wallet has officially successfully set up. Click on all done. It's going to prompt you to the next page, which is your wallet. Top right corner, if you click on MetaMask icon, you can see the same window, except this one is in the browser tab and this one is browser extension. A few things. Number one, if you hover over account one, you're going to see copy to clipboard. If you copy this, so this is basically your Ethereum MetaMask wallet address this address is safe to share to people when you want to receive funds or receive cryptocurrency that's on erc20 network think about if you want to log into your email you have your email address and you have your password so in this case in the crypto or blockchain world this address is our email address it's okay to send it to people so they can send you email or in this case send you cryptocurrency however the backup phrase is your password that's why I mentioned earlier to keep your backup phrase nice and secure. You can see here on the top right corner, it says Ethereum Mingnet. That means this is on ERC20 network. Click on this drop down option. You're going to see add network. We're going to add a new network that's Binance Smart Chain Network. So just simply click on add new network and it's going to show you this page. And you can also access to it by click on your account, click on settings and come to networks. And this is the same page we're going to land on and now in the description of this video you're going to find an article link this is written by binance academy what you want to do is you want to scroll down a little bit on this article until you see this section it says ming net network name is smart chain and rpc url and so forth right so this is the data the information that we need we're going to copy paste to the left hand side you can see here so that's how we are able to set up binance smart chain all you need to do is copy paste to leave this information in the description as well just in case you can have access to this article just copy paste exactly the rpc url copy this one chain id is 56 copy to the left symbol is uh, optional here but i'm just going to enter bnb last but not least explorer url is going to be bsa scan once you fill in these five fields you're going to click on save as soon as you click on save immediately you're going to see ethereum becomes bnb keep this in mind on ethereum erc20 network pay gas fee we use ethereum to pay these transaction fees in binance smart chain network to pay these gas fee we're going to use bnb token to pay these fees so now comes to the next question right where should you go get the bnb tokens you normally can get bnb token on an exchange like coinbase like binance or kucoins depends on what type of region you're from or what country you're from quick tip here is come to coin market cap and you want to locate or search bnb token called binance coin click on it you're going to come to market section here this is the list of exchanges that carry or support bnb token if you don't have these accounts the link is in the description you can use your credit card information or your bank information you can acquire these assets such as bnb tokens so that is one of my recommended methods to acquire bnb tokens so basically the fundamental the basics should be all the same you have an account you log in i'm going to use kucoin in this case as an example on the top left corner you should be able to see something called buy crypto there are going to be a few options here like fast buy or p2p if i click on fast buy you can see here we have a limited three different options so after buying it we basically want to convert to bnb token that's how the logic works here right you can buy ethereum let's say we'll buy a hundred dollars worth buy and they accept mastercard and visa so this is how you're able to acquire
entire one cryptocurrency. And now I give you another example. This is Binance Exchange. A lot of people from US, you probably have Binance.us. Basically, you can see here we have the same options by cryptocurrency. And you can see if you're from US, go with the USD. In my case, I'm from Canada. I'm going to search for CAD. That's Canadian dollars. So it will limit you to these options. You can see credit card, P2P, and exactly the same method. You can use your Canadian to buy certain crypto assets here. You can see because Binance is more regulated than KuCoin, we have more options here. You can search for BNB. So that's how you are able to acquire BNB token this way. Once you acquired the BNB token or you swapped from any other token to BNB token, once you have some balance, you are able to withdraw from an exchange to our MetaMask wallet here. So I want to show you the next important part of it is when you click on withdraw, there's one part that's really important. Number one is going to ask you what's the wallet address. You simply come to your MetaMask by this page or you can click on the extension. You want to copy this address to your clipboard and you want to paste it to your wallet address field. And second super important part is choose the right network. A lot of exchange would automatically look at your wallet address and narrow down to the correct option. In this case, you can see it narrowed down to BEEP20 or BEP20. Keep that in mind every time you want to receive BNB token to your MetaMask because this is a Binance Smart Chain, you always want to go with a BEP20 or BEEP20 network. So this is the correct network that supports Binance Smart Chain. If you choose the wrong network in this case, the money is gone. It can be reversed. That's why it's super critical and really important that you choose BEEP20 network. So from there, you're basically punching the amount of BNB token you want to withdraw from this exchange and you click on confirm. If you have 2FA set up, you want to type in the 2FA or email security code and click on confirm again and you should be able to receive BNB token to your MetaMask in this case. Now, the last part of this tutorial is how we're going to use this BNB token to swap to any other token. What you want to do is come to Google. You want to search pancake swap. Pancake swap is developed by Binance. So it's exactly under the same umbrella. You want to come to pancake swap finance. First time coming gear, you want to see top right corner says connect wallet. You want to click on that once. It's going to ask you what do you want to use? So if you use trust wallet on your mobile, you want to go with this option. But in our case, we have a MetaMask. It's really important you want to set up MetaMask Binance Smart Chain first, then come to PancakeSwap. Otherwise, you won't be able to log in with your ERC20 MetaMask. Because we have everything all set, click on MetaMask. It's going to have this pop-up window. Basically, you want to use MetaMask to connect to PancakeSwap. Click on Next and you want to click on Connect. Right away on the top right corner, you're going to see this is the first few digit and last few digit of your MetaMask wallet. This shows that we have successfully logged in here. I have an entire video that goes in detail of how to use all these features on PancakeSwap. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you do. I'll leave that link in the description or in this corner somewhere. If you simply want to swap the BNB token to any other token, you just simply want to come to trade and exchange. And this is the swapping feature we're going to use. Just like Uniswap, you probably heard about it, built on ERC20. Binance Smart Chain has their own version of swapping. This is it, okay? Last Last little tip here is that number one, you want to choose how many BNB token you want to swap to. And secondly, you want to choose what cryptocurrency you want to swap to. What if you want to swap to another token that's not in this list? So there's many tokens that support Binance Smart Chain. You can see I have an entire list here. Find the token you want to swap to. You want to come to Coin Market Cap. In this case, we're going to use Bake token as an example. I have no idea what that is, but the Bakery token, click on that. You're going to see right here under the contract, you're going to see Binance Smart Chain. This is the token address. You want to click on copy address. You want to come to pancake swap here. You can see here search name or paste address. You simply want to paste that address here. It will automatically locate that token and you can either click on import. This way it will import this token into your MetaMask. So besides BNB, you're going to see this token. So this way you are able to swap from BNB token to any other token of your choice. 
A few things again I want to remind you is number one, don't ever share your backup phrase. Once somebody has that phrase, they're able to log into your MetaMask and extract or send your tokens to their own wallet. A lot of scammers, what they do is they would approach you like they are the admin of a specific group and they pretend they want to help you out and they would ask you for your backup phrase. In that case, just ignore them or delete them or block them because admin would never reach out to you first. It's always you reach out to admin. Every day, there's people losing their backup phrase to someone else and they lost all their crypto assets. Last but not least, do me a favor guys if you enjoy this video and if you found some value in here drop some comments below and give it a like make sure you subscribe to the channel youtube algorithm will show it to more and more people out there who are seeking help to set up their metamask binance smart chain if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you do because i have amazing content planned out down the road this is Tori sultan thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers